We are talking with a very special young actor today, someone up and coming in the business, a very accomplished young man named Austin Fox. Austin, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm very, very well. Thank you. Now, you are uh, 12, right? You'll be 13 this year? Yes, sir. Okay. And you had, when, when did you start in acting? How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about two years. I started off at Barbizon, did a class, did some classes there, and eventually I met with my agent, Don Landra. That's where it really all started. What kind of, uh, what inspired you to pursue a career in acting, especially at such a young age? Well, my dad was a producer in California for about 10 years, and I liked he- watching TV when I was little, and I was like, wouldn't it be cool if I was on TV? I bet my dad could help me out with that. <laughs> so I went to my dad and said, Dad, I want to be an actor. And he right. Right, let's find your school. And as I already mentioned, I then went to Barbizon and all that. What uh, do you have any actors that you admire? Anyone that you sort of emulate or look up to? My acting teacher, Catherine Hart, is a great is a great actor actress, and I really admire her. She, I really look up to her, hoping to be just as good as her. So you've done a lot of interesting things so far, even in your, your young career, Austin. You were on an episode of Murder Made Famous, where you played a young Gary Ridgway. For those of you around Austin's age, and probably a little older, although I'm sure, Austin, you're quite familiar with Gary Ridgway, having played him as a child, but he was the... Um, the Green River Strangler in the 1970s. What uh, what was that like on that set? Kind of talk about your experience with that. On set, I had a really great time. It was being my first major project and all. I really appreciate everyone on the and necessarily the intensity of the role you're playing. Yes gotta really be in your character really feel what your character would be feeling i had a great time with everyone oh that's great um you also did a movie called uh three aprils in march uh what uh what role did you play in that film i was really a background extra but here's a funny story from the set me and my brother and two other extras in in one of the scenes, we were at a dance, and what we were doing was offset was like hitting a balloon back and forth. And then one of the directors comes up to us and like, I like that. Do that in the film. <laughs> and then basically we just, in the film, we can be seen hopping around and hitting a balloon back and forth. That's great. So now you are in a a film coming to Netflix very soon called Eli. What uh, what is that film about? I can't say too much as we signed a non disclosure agreement. Right. But yeah, I'll try something up like this. It's a boy with an autoimmune disorder who is brought to his house with his parents and is haunted by ghosts are trying to send him a message. Interesting. Okay. I'm 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 definitely intrigued uh, about that. Uh how was your experience working with Netflix? I know, you know, they're they are certainly rapidly entering the world of original films. Roma was nominated for an Academy Award. They've definitely gained a lot of credibility and have put a lot of good stuff out there and they seem to put a lot of money behind their projects. Uh, what was it like working at Netflix? Actually, it was a Paramount film. And oh, okay. sold it to Netflix. Gotcha. But, but necessarily working on the set, it was great. It was a great experience. I There is this 
Our studio teacher was a very nice, sweet lady. I really appreciated her. She was so nice. They had a great everything. So many people to meet. It was a big set. Kind of overwhelming as getting first starting in the business. You're not very experienced. But I got used to it pretty quick, and I think I learned a lot from being on the set. Were there a lot of other children with, you know, substantial roles in in this film as well? Yes. And there was. and have you, like, for instance, uh, Murder Made Famous or, or some of the other uh, productions that you've been on? Have you have you been the only child in in any of these ones? No. Okay. There's been some other kids that I made friends with and got to meet myself. Most of them have been pretty nice and great. So what's it like in the when you're when you're going to to school on set uh, when you're on a long shoot like that? Do you is it uh, do you kind of have like a little fraternity amongst uh, all of the? Uh, the kids that are they're taking the classes. Actually, I would have brought my work from school as I wasn't homeschooled at that time, but our school said that I would be gone for too long, so we had to unenroll from that school. And with the onset teacher, she actually got some special things that I could do and activities that could help me learn, so I didn't have to bring stuff from home or anything but she also had this puzzle out for everyone and she'd have like a puzzle that every child on the set would try and help to solve Mm -hmm. and yeah is it is it difficult to sort of split your time like that where part of the time you're you're on the set and you're in character and you're doing your work and part of the time uh you're in school do you find that transition hard it can be worked out. It's not too difficult. As on the on that was a bit easier because they have a higher budget than most films, so mm-hmm. they were able to hire people to that could teach, rehearse, and go over you stuff separately. So it wasn't too hard. But on other sets like that, it can be a little difficult. But you managed to make it work. If you spend your time wisely. Right. Yeah, time, I imagine the time management is an important trait to have. Um, now, you have done something that I don't know if anyone your age can can really claim. I'm not. I'm not sure. I haven't done extensive research on it, but I couldn't find anyone else uh, at your age that has accomplished what you've accomplished. You uh, directed and wrote and produced. And you know, starred in your own short film called Mom. Now, from what I understand of the film, it's very interesting to me. Uh, well, first of all, talk about why you decided that you wanted to uh, direct your own film. Experience and the opportunity to learn from it, and showing how. No matter the age, you can do something great like adults can. It doesn't matter that you have to be very old or have to be an adult to be able to do these things. So I decided, why not? Why not? And how did you come up with the idea for the film? Actually, it's a very simple story. We were listening to my dad's born radio, and it was on the news about how kids were being separated from their families at the border. And I was just getting back from acting class, and we started getting into discussion about a movie we that I recently got an audition for, and we were wondering what it's about. And I said, what if there was a movie about a boy and his mom dies and he has to take care of himself and his siblings? And a week later, we wrote the movie. Now... In the film, uh, the mom does, uh, now I get this, this impression, especially from the poster, does she die of like a, uh, 
like a narcotics overdose? Yes. Okay. She does. So I love the idea of, and, and everyone should should definitely uh, plan on seeing mom. It like I love the idea of blending uh, one problem that that exists in our society of uh, narcotics that you know has become unfortunately an ep- epidemic. Uh, you know, in our day and age and blending it with another uh, problem, another hot button thing in the news of children being separated at the border. It's a brilliant idea to, to mix those two, uh, two ideas together and very impressive. Um, it, directing this movie, you know, you talked about how you did it as a learning experience, which I think is great. Did it give you a different perspective on uh, one, how films are made, and two, your responsibility a- as an actor when you go to some of these other uh, larger productions? It definitely helped my perspective. It showed me that these directors, these producers, all these are people work just as hard as you do, and you're not better than everyone else on the set just because you're an actor. Everyone has a has a role, and they have to do it well in order to make the film become what it is. Now, as a young actor, a uh, young person in the business, obviously you can go back through, through the history of uh, Hollywood and see th- there are, you know, obviously some tragic stories of young people who maybe got too much too fast or got in over their heads and it got mixed up in in some unsavory parts of the Hollywood world that exists out there. Uh, and there's also obvious success stories like Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, what what have you learned from uh, different actors around your age who have started in the business uh, so that you can avoid any kind of pitfalls that that might come your way? I've learned the sim. I know the simple ones for a very long time, like don't do drugs, be safe, don't make sure to be around people, you know, get to know them. So. I imagine that it helps to have a solid support system around you as well. Uh, you know, your dad and and other people who can sort of uh, help guide you through. Uh, different um, different perils that might come your way? Yes. Now, as far as, uh, you know, next steps of, as your career go, you, you're, you're in Texas, uh, which has some proximity to California, uh, I guess, relative to the rest of the country. Do you have any plans as far as uh, the future to uh, make the move out to uh, California or, or one of the, you know, Atlanta or one of the other places uh, sort of hot in the in the acting world? I don't plan to do it anytime soon, but in the future, I'm hoping I'll be able to do that as it'll offer more opportunities. But yeah... Not in Texas, yeah, I'm looking to move to California, LA. Texas already has a big movie industry, and there's a lot of great opportunities I can get here. So no need to move to California or all those other big movie places sometime soon. But I'm hoping to do that in the future, yes. Well, that definitely sounds like you're on the right track. Uh, that is all the time we have for today. Uh, that is... Austin Fox, it has been a pleasure to talk to you. Obviously, a young man with a good head on his shoulders who I believe will be doing some very good things in the industry. Check out uh, Eli coming to Netflix soon. Uh, Search out Mom. Absolutely intriguing and fascinating film. Uh, Austin, is there any place uh, on... I know you're, you're a little young and, you know, some of... If you have any social media, it might be a little locked down, which is understandable. But is there any place uh, on, on the Internet where people who are interested can uh, kind of keep up with uh, with what's going on in your life and where to uh, where to find uh, new movies from you and everything? Almost most certainly. Actually, if you go to www. 
www.austinfox.com. We have a little GoFundMe campaign that you can help to make mom possible, make mom be what it is. Mm -hmm. And also, and also, well, mom's already made, but that helped fund it. We kind of need the help, and we would really appreciate it if y'all out there could help us out. But also, I have an Instagram, AustinFox11, and that's where you can find me on Instagram as well. All right, so I will link that below this interview. Anyone that's interested, you can check out uh, Austin's website, contribute to his GoFundMe page. And uh, let's get uh, let's get uh, post production on Mom going because uh, that is definitely a fascinating film. And as I said, Eli, uh, look for that on Netflix. Sounds like a very intriguing project there. Austin Fox, it has been a pleasure. Uh, we will talk to you again soon. Have a good day. You too. Thank you very much.